God tonight. We've been looking at the name, the titles and the symbols of the Holy Spirit to understand what the Holy Spirit is like. We've told you that we have to first of all understand the person of the Holy Spirit. So we, are ex- we have been exploring who He is. We have been looking at uh, who He is through the name, the Holy Spirit, the name the Holy Spirit and the titles and symbols. The Holy Spirit in the and and uh, one of the last symbols that uh, uh, the last symbol for the Holy Spirit is the symbol of oil. And that is the only one I did not speak about last week because we didn't have the time. Every symbol is so important because it tells us what the Holy Spirit is like. You remember on the day when David was anointed as king. Samuel the uh, prophet walked into the house and chose uh, David. By the guidance of God. Then we read that he poured the anointing oil upon him as he anointed him as the king. Anointing in the Old Testament times was done by oil being poured out. You need to understand that they are poured out oil really. You read about it in Psalm 133 how that it flowed from the head and on to the beard and all over the body and all the way down to the feet. Yeah. You know, these days we don't understand anointing so well because when we anoint the oil is so expensive we just put a little drop on the forehead. So we think anointing is something of a something of a little drop of God's power and anointing. The Old Testament gives us a beautiful picture of what God's anointing is all about. It is something that flows from the head through the beard of Aaron and all the way to his body and all the way down to the feet. It fills him. Totally drenches him. And this is the picture of anointing in the uh, anointing with the oil in the Old Testament. Time. And it indicated or it was a symbol of the anointing of the Holy Spirit that came upon the person. The anointing came upon persons of God's choosing so that they can do whatever God has chosen them to do. From that time onwards, the anointing of God rests upon that person to do and live beyond his uh, ordinary ability to accomplish God's tasks. And this is what we read about uh, happening to Jesus. Jesus says he was anointed. In Luke chapter 4 verse 18 he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me. Anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has anointed me to heal the broken hearted. He has anointed me to 
proclaim liberty to the captives sarai pattavulukku vidudhalai arivikkum padi abhishekam panninar to uh, to give recovery of sight to the blind ullarku paarvai prasiddha padutha abhishekam panninar and to set at liberty those who are oppressed sarai norungundavulai vidudhalai aaga abhishekam panninar and to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord sarai kaathudi anugraha varshathai prasiddha padutha is jesus recognized that the anointing of the holy spirit was upon him பரிசுத்தாவின் அபிஷேகம் தன் மீது இருக்கிறதை இயேசு உணர்ந்திருந்தார் the oil was not poured upon jesus yesu in meedu ennai oothapadavillai in the old testament many things were symbolic pala erpadu naatkalile pala kaariyangal adayalangalaga irundathu many things in the natural served as a symbol of the spiritual thing happening anega yerkiyana kaariyangal nadakkira aavikuriya kaariyangalukku nelnaattamaya alladhu adayalamaa irundathu but upon jesus the holy spirit really came down aanal yesu in meedu aaviyanavar meyyagave irangi vandar on the day when he got out of the waters of baptism the spirit of god descended upon him like a dove yana sanam eduthu thannirundu veliye vandu anda naalile deva aaviyanavar puravai pola avar meedu irangina that is what he is referring to when he says the spirit of the lord is upon me kathrudi aaviyanavar en mel irukkara endru yesu sollum bodhu adhai dhaan kurippidukkara he means that i am full of the holy ghost now naan ipodu parusutha aavinal nirayndirukkiren endra avar sollum i am anointed by the holy spirit naan parusutha aavinal abhishekam panna pottirukkiren i am filled with his power and ability from head to toe thalai mudal kaal varai avrudey vallaminaal aathralinaale naan nirappapattirukkiren i am anointed to preach and heal and to set it uh, set at liberty prasangam panna gunamaaka vidudhalaiyaaka naan abhishekam panna pattirukkiren so jesus was anointed oh yes abhishekam panna patta in acts chapter 10 verse 38 apostle 10 38 Peter uh, talks about Jesus. Jesus is going to be talking about Jesus. When he was preaching at Cornelius' house. Cornelius went to him and preached the word. He said, "You know how the Jesus of Nazareth was anointed by holy with the Holy Ghost and with power." He was telling us, "Nazareth is the Jesus of the Bible, the Son of God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit." And how that he went about doing, uh, how that he went about healing all that were oppressed, uh, healing all that were sick, and all that were oppressed of the devil. All the miracles that were done by the Holy Spirit. பிசாசன் வல்லமையில் அகப்பட்ட யாவரையும் குணமாக்குறவை சுற்றி திரிந்தார் என்று அவன் சொல்லுகிறான் the healing delivering work of jesus was done by the power and the anointing of the holy spirit இயேசுவின் குணமாக்கும் வேலை விடுதலையாக்கும் வேலை எல்லாமே பரிசுத்தாவின் அபிஷேகம் வல்லமையாலே செய்யப்பட்டதாகும் whenever god chooses a man to do something he anoints him எப்பவும் தேவன் ஒரு மனிதனை ஒரு காரியத்தை செய்ய தேர்ந்தெடுக்கிறாரோ அவனை அபிஷேகம் பண்ணுகிறார் he doesn't say just do it he gives him the ability the anointing to do it சும்மா செய் என்று சொல்வதில்லை அதை செய்யக்கூடிய ஆற்றலை திறமை அவர் கொடுக்கிறார் whether it is the old testament or the new testament it is the same பழைய ஏற்பாடாலும் சரி புதிய ஏற்பாடாலும் சரி எல்லாம் அதேதான் In the Old Testament, everyone was not anointed. Only your party, like all our Abishai, who manna parali. Only three categories of people were mainly anointed. Mundu vahiya na makkal matte me mukhiya maay Abishai who manna parali. The prophets, priests, and king. Dear Kadar Sri Asariyan Raja. These were God anointed leaders among the people of Israel. Israel jan mati le Devnal Abishai who manna parali thale vargal ivargal da. They had the ability to lead the people. Makkalay naratta kudi hatthalu vargal kirundu di. God gave them ability through the anointing. Abishai thun mala maay Devnal the thiramaya vargal kudu da. In the New Testament. Testament, the good news is that every single one of us is anointed nam ovvoru varum abhishegam manna pattirukrom endru dhaan archeediya irukkirathu moses felt the need for such a thing to happen ipadi petta oru kaari sambhavikka vendum ala avasiyam endrai mose unandha moses was leading lakhs and lakhs of people mose lakhs kanakana makkalai vaiyiruthi kondirundha and it was difficult for one man to lead or with just few assistants oru manidhan oru sila udhavigalai kondu avlo vari kootathai nan vaiyiruthuvathu kadinamaa irundathu but he recognized that god's anointing was upon him and upon aaron and upon a few people ana devni abhishekam than meedum aaron meedum innu sila meedum meedum irundade avan unandha but it was not enough endala adhum podavillai he longed for more leaders to be raised up and for them to be anointed so that they can assist him innum adhiga thalaivil elpapada vendum avargal abhishekam panna pada vendum appozhudan avargal udhavi seiyum mudiyum endru avan yosithan so we read that he picks 70 people under god's guidance and and, and appoints them to be leaders okay. elders ஒரு பேரை அவன் தலைவனாய் தேர்ந்து கொண்டு அவர்களை தலைவராக ஏற்படுத்துகிறான் and god says i will take of the anointing that is upon you and put some upon them அவளை பார்த்து தேவன் சொல்கிறார் உன் மீது இருக்கிற அபிஷேகத்தை நான் எடுத்து அவர்கள் மேலும் வைப்பேன் now they are also anointed and they're given a capacity and ability to do certain things இப்போ அவங்களும் அபிஷேகப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் சில காரியங்களை செய்ய கூடிய ஆற்றலும் திராணியும் அவர்களுக்கும் உண்டு 
the power and the anointing of the holy spirit was upon them parishuddhavin vallamayum abhishekam avargal meedu irundathu but the most wonderful thing is aal arpadamana oru kaaliyam not only moses and the old testament saints of god uh, that is the great prophets of god were anointed moseyum piragu pali yerpaattin maavarum parishuddhavanulla thirukudarchigal அபிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ிஷேகம்ி
Through the pastor and teacher. And teaches the word and leads them into the truth. The one who hears the pastor or teacher hearing, uh, teaching the word. They are not totally dependent upon their pastor or teacher. God forbid that that should happen. If you are completely dependent on me to tell the truth, what if I go wrong? I am a good man, but I could go wrong. <laughs> I could interpret it wrong. It is possible that I could preach some wrong things. I am not infallible. So, that is why God has not left us completely at the mercy of a preacher. You see, God is... They are working through the preacher and uh, helping the preacher to give the word. On the preacher's side, God is there. Through him, he is helping him to give the word. But on the believer's side, on the hearer's side, also the Holy Spirit is there. So that there is double protection. If this man does not follow the Holy Spirit and does not teach the truth and deviates from the truth. There is the other protection on the protection that is placed upon the hearer, the anointing that rests and abides upon him that teaches him all things. So that the believer when he hears the truth <laughs> by the anointing that abides in him can now judge and discern whether this truth is right or wrong. That is the way that you should hear preaching anywhere you go. You should not just relax and just say, let give it to me brother, I'll just gobble it all up. You should not just open your mouth wide and just receive everything. You know, some, some people think that's what the Bible means when it says open your mouth wide, I'll fill it. You don't want to be filled with all kinds of junk. <laughs> you got the anointing that abides in you, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So that when a man is preaching wrong, you know that it's wrong. How do you know? The Holy Spirit witnesses within you. I have been in many meetings where the Holy Spirit has shown me that this is wrong. It's not right. It, uh, I've really been led by the Holy Spirit in the matters of doctrine and believing uh, and so on. I have known times when the Holy Spirit really has shown me that this is wrong, this is not right. So I hear a lot of preachers, I read a lot of books, and I study a lot. But I know what is right, what is wrong. That is exactly what John is saying here. He is saying here, I am not teaching you because you don't know these things. Verse 21. I am not writing this to you because you don't know the truth. All preachers in the New Testament, even Paul says that in other places. He says, I am reminding you only. The whole approach of the preachers in the New Testament is that the believers are not ordinary people. They have the Holy Spirit. They know the truth. They know the truth. The one who guides them and leads them into all the truth is in them. So they know the truth. So when I come to preach tonight, I don't come 
come thinking that you don't know the truth i'm going to tell you the truth agave nan indha iravu satyate prasivikka varumbodhu ungalku satyame theriyadhu naan naan vandu solla porrenga ennathil varuvadillai i come to you to tell you the truth that you already know to reinforce it to rem- to make you remember it yerkanave neengal arindhirukka satyathai meendum aayi ungalku nenaippottu mudiyaga than naan varugiren i preach to you because you know it ungalku theriyum aagave than prasivikkira some people say well i know these truths these truths i have learned these truths illa na solla enakku indha satyam la theriyum adha so i don't have to hear it agave dhaan na kekka vendi avasiyam illa you have to hear it because you know it idu ungalku therindirukkirathu agave dhaan neengal kekka vendi how much we know yet we walk in very little of what we know many times naam endha alavukku arindirukrom irundhalum pala samayigale nadappodho konjam kaaryangal illa dhaan we only live according to very little of the truth that we know naam arindirukka satyathile or alavukku dhaan adhile naam nadakkrom and that is why we need to keep on hearing it again and again and more and more the very same truths that we have heard so that we can walk in all of it agave dhaan nam ketta satyathiye thiruma thiruma nam ketka vendirukkiru yen ella satyathilum nam nadappadharkaga for all of this the oil of god's anointing is given to us ivai anaithirkavum dhaan devudi abhishegam enum thailam namakku kodukapattirukkiru just as it flowed from head to toe in those days it is flowing today andha naatkalile thalai mudal kaal varai valindhadhu pola indrikku vidhu valindhodugirathu in the old testament times the kings were given certain abilities mari yerpatta naatkalile rajaakalukku sila thirumaigal kodukapattirukkiru prophets were given other abilities thirkadarigalukku vera thirangal kodukapattirukkiru priests were anointed for something else aasarigal vera oru kaani In the New Testament times, the greatest ability that God wants every believer to have is the ability to know the truth and to walk in the truth, and that is why the oil of God's anointing is given. Anal pudi er party le they unni abhishegam unni thailam yen viswasi kudu ko pati rikarade viswasi. சகல சத்தியத்தை மறைந்து சகல சத்தியத்துக்குள்ள நடக்க வேண்டும் என்று தேவன் விரும்புகிறார் ஆகவே தான் கொடுக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறது ஆயில் ஆஃப் காட்ஸ் அனாயிண்டிங் ஹஸ் பீன் போர்ட் ஆன் யுவர் ஹெட் உங்கள் தலை மீதி தேவனுடைய அபிஷேக தைலம் ஊற்றப்பட்டிருக்கிறது சோ தி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் தி திங்ஸ் ஆஃப் காட் கேன் கம் அப்ஆன் யூ அப்பொழுதுதான் தேவனுடைய காரியங்களை அறிந்து கொள்ள கூடிய அந்த திறன் உங்களுக்கு வர வேண்டும் என்று தி எபிலிட்டி டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் காட்ஸ் வேர்ட் தேவனுடைய வார்த்தை புரிந்து கொள்ள கூடிய ஒரு திறன் சோ லெட்ஸ் கோ ஆன் டு லிட்டில் மோர் நாம் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் பார்ப்போம் now we have looked at the title symbols and and the name holy spirit parasuthavin peyrayum avude patta peyrayum chinnangalayum nam padithu mudithu vittom to know what the holy spirit is like parasuthavin anavar enna va irukkaran endradhai purindukollumbadi now we are going to look at another whole area we are going to know uh, who he is ipozhudhu avar yaar endradhai nam padikka pogrom we are going to look at who he is and what he is parasuthavin anavar yaara irukkaran enna va irukkaran endradhai padikka pogrom who is he yaar appa we know what he is like by the titles and symbols and the patta perigal chinnangal moolamaga avar enna va irukkaran endradhai neengal arindhu kondirukkiru but who is he aanal avar yaar a irukkaran who is the holy spirit parasutha aviyanavar endral yaar i want to cover three things under this iran kile moondu kaarigale kurithu naan pesa varum one i want to talk about how the holy spirit is god god himself modalavudhu parasutha aviyanavar devan endradhai naan solla varumbugiren he is no less than god avar devane vare kuraivanavar alla he is god avar devan is one with god is god avar devunukku samamana avar devan just as god is he is he, he is eppadi devan devana irukkaro aviyana varum devan dhaan i want to talk about that adhai kurithu pesa varum then the second thing i want to talk about the fact that he is a person rendavadhaga parasutha aviyana oru nabar endradhai kurithu pesa varum i just mentioned it on the first day when we began but we will really teach it nam thovingi mudal naal endru aviyana varu oru nabar endru naan sonne anal ippozhudhu adhai podikka varumbugiren you know i said it because we were going to teach on the person of the holy spirit i said it's very important to know that he is a person parasutha aviyanu nabare kurithu podikiradanaale aviyanu oru nabar endradhai nam purindukolla vendum endru naan ange sonne so but now we will teach how that he is a person ippozhudhu eppadi parasutha aviyanu oru nabara irukkarar endradhai podikka pogu we will give evidences and proofs from the scriptures to show you that he is a real person Our, even though he is unseen person avar kaana mudiyadavara irundhalum meyyagave avar oru nabar endradharkana vasanangalai aadharangalai vedathil nindu ungalukku kodukka pogu the third thing i want to show tonight is that uh, that he is distinct from god even though he is god mundavadaga parasutha aviyanavar devuna irundalum avarayum devunai nam veru paduthi kaana mudiyum endradhai solla varum three things mundu kaariyam is god avar devan that he is a person avar oru nabar and he is different from god distinct from god peragu avar devunai vidu vithyasamanava it's uh, uh, is distinct from god he is not Uh, even though he is god he is distinct from god avar devana irundalum devunukkum aaviyana avarkum veru paadu irukkirathu endradhai solla varumbugiren that's the way to say it all right 
Now let us look at it. Let us look at the fact that Holy Spirit is gone. But let me just say a word about this because we need to know why we have to know this. You know, there are many questions in the minds of people who have never heard teaching in a systematic manner. How many times I've been asked questions like... Uh, can we worship the Holy Spirit? Believers. Spiritual believers. Can we worship the Holy Spirit? What is this whole confusion about? This confusion is about them not knowing very clearly who the Holy Spirit is. I appreciate their concern, but I, I regret that their ignorance sometimes. They say, can I worship the Holy Spirit? My question is, why not? He is God. The fact that He is God has not been taught to them. They don't know that person, who He is properly. They know about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. They know some things about the Holy Spirit, but they don't know that He is God. Therefore, they have Doubts about whether we can worship or not. I have said a simple statement that you can, but I will explain it later on. I will show you why such a confusion arises. I have already told you there is a lot of confusion about the fact that the Holy Spirit is a person. Mainly because of the King James English translation which translates many times as Holy Ghost. So they think it's some kind of a ghost. Some power, some apparition, some force, some strange thing. You know? So you will hear a lot of Pentecostals say, have you received it? I, I say which it? It's not have you received it? Have you received him? See, that idea of the Holy Ghost has laid a wrong foundation in their hearts and minds. They think they're thinking about the Holy Spirit as a force or a power, but not as a person. I showed you on the very first day how their whole life goes wrong when they think like that. So they think that this power will come upon them in some services. Just zap them and hit them and you know do something with them and then leave them. Push them down or throw them out or do something and then leave. I don't mean to say all that won't happen. But I mean to say that the Holy Spirit is a person. He is not a mere force that is doing all these things. When he is there, there is power. These things may happen. But he is not just about that. He is much more than that. He is a person. So let us look at this. The Holy, uh, there are several evidences to the fact that Holy Spirit is God in the scriptures. First of all, the Holy Spirit is recognized as God in the scriptures. He is spoken of as God. Turn with me to Acts chapter 5, verse 3. Acts chapter 5, verse 3. You remember the famous story about Ananias and Sapphira, how they lied and they died. But see how the fact that the Holy Spirit is God comes out there. Verse 3. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land? 
for yourself. Pedra mani noki ananiya ve nilatin kareyetil oru pangai vanjitu vaitu parishutavinathil poi sollum padi saatanu nirreyde nirappina thanna. This man is lying about the price of the land. Ina manachu nilai nilatin kareyida vadi poi sollugara. So Peter is confronting him and saying, "Why have you lied to the Holy Spirit?" Avu pedra mani idithu ketkumbodhu enna seigiran? Nee yen parishutavinathil poi sonnai endru ketkira. In the fourth verse. Nanga avasanathile. In the last portion. Kadaisi pagudhiyile. Peter continues and he says, "You have not lied to men but to God." Pedra enna sollugiran? Nee manushar idithil alla devan nadathil poi sonnai very clear in the mind of peter is this idea that the holy spirit is none less than god de parusuthaviyanavar devane vidai endha vidathilum kuraindavar alla endra or ennam peter manadile theliva irundathu because he says why have you lied to the holy spirit then he says you have lied not to men but to god referring to the holy spirit as god yen nalinga solugiran parusuthaviyan idathil yen poi sonnai endra ketu vidu kadaichilan solugiran nee devan idathil poi sonnai ஆகவே ஆவியானவரே அவர் தேவன் என்று நீங்க குறிப்பிடுகிறார். If you lie to the Holy Spirit then you're lying to God. நீ பரிசுத்தாவினத்தில் பொய் சொன்னாய் பிறகு தேவனத்தில் தான் பொய் சொல்லுகிறாய். Turn with me to Acts chapter 21. அப்போஸ்தல 21 ஆம் அதிகாரத்துல நாம் செல்வோம். Acts 21. அப்போஸ்தல 21. Verse 11. 11 ஆம் வசனம். When he had come to us he he took Paul's belt bound is talking about Agabus coming and prophesying about the persecution that awaits Paul. அகபு வந்து பவுலுக்காக சில உபத்திரங்கள் காத்திருக்கிறது என்று திருக்கு தரிசனம் உரைக்கிறது பற்றி இந்த வசனம் சொல்லுகிறது let me read this the vasikku when he had come to us he took paul's belt and bound his own hands and feet and said thus says the holy spirit அவன் எங்களிடத்தில் வந்து பவுலினுடைய கச்சை எடுத்து தன் கைகளையும் தன் கால்களையும் கட்டி கொண்டு இந்த கச்சையை உடையவனை எருசலேமில் உள்ள யூதர் இவ்விதமாய் கட்டி புரதியாந்தார கைகளில் ஒப்பு கொடுப்பார்கள் என்று பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறார் என்றான் தஸ் செஸ் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் இஸ் பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறார் அண்ட் தென் ஹி ப்ரோபசைஸ் அவன் பிறகு திருக்கதசம் உரைக்கிறார் நவ் தி தஸ் செஸ் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் தஸ் செஸ் தி லார்ட் யூ ரிமெம்பர் இஸ் a very common old testament expression whenever the prophets prophesied a word from god they always spoke this use this language thus says the lord பழைய பட்டலில் வாசிக்கும் போது எப்பவெல்லாம் தேவிடத்துல இருந்து ஒரு திருக்கதசன வார்த்தை வருகிறதோ திருக்கதர்சிகள் அதை சொல்லும் போது காத்தர் உரைக்கிறதாவது என்று சொல்லிவிட்டு தான் அந்த தீர்க்க தரிசனத்தை சொல்வார்கள் so when god speaks and the prophet speaks by a revelation of god he says thus says the lord ஆகவே தேவன் பேசும்போது இவன் அந்த வெளிப்பாட்டை தீர்க்க தரிசி வெளிப்பாட்டை பெற்றவனாய் ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறார் என்று சொல்லுகிறார் thus says the lord அன்னிக்கு கர்த்தர் உரைக்கிறார் என்று அவன் சொல்லுகிறார் but here agabus says thus says the holy spirit ஆனால் இங்கே அகபு சொல்லுகிறான் பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறார் என்று is directly referring to the holy spirit says thus says the holy spirit நேரடியாக பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் குறிப்பிட்டு பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறார் என்று சொல்லுகிறார் meaning that holy spirit and the lord are same அந்த அர்த்தம் என்ன பரிசுத்த ஆவியானரும் கர்த்தரும் ஒன்றே என்பதுதான் that he is god our devan the holy spirit is god parishuddha aviyanavar devan now let us turn to uh, acts chapter 28 apostle 28th adhyayathukku nam solluvom acts chapter 28 apostle 28th adhyayam and verse 25 25th verse so when they did not agree among themselves they departed after paul had said one word the holy spirit rightly through isaiah the prophet uh, right, uh, spoke rightly through isaiah the prophet to our fathers saying go to this people and say hearing you will hear and shall not understand seeing you will see and not perceive and so on ipdi avargal oru 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 ovamil irundu porapettu pogayil avanavar devan dan endru solugira vidathile avar parishuddhaviyanavare kurithu pesugirar turn with you matthew chapter 12 thiru po matthew 12 adhigaram irukku matthew chapter 12 verse 28 matthew 12 28 but if i cast out demons jesus said by the spirit of god Surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. நீங்க இயேசு சொல்லுகிறார் நான் தேவனுடைய ஆவியினாலே பிசாசுகளை துரத்துகிறபடியால் தேவனுடைய ராஜ்யம் உங்களிடத்தில் வந்திருக்கிறதே. He says that he is casting out demons by the spirit of God. அவர் சொல்லுகிறார் நான் தேவனுடைய ஆவியினாலே பிசாசுகளை துரத்துகிறேன். And if he is doing that by the spirit of God surely the kingdom of God has come. தேவனுடைய ஆவியினால் அப்படி செய்கிறேன் என்றால் பிறகு தேவனுடைய ராஜ்யம் ஐயாகவே வந்திருக்கிறது. He is talking about the Holy Spirit the spirit of God as deity as God. தேவ ஆவியானவரை தேவன் என்று இங்கே இயேசு அழைக்கிறார். In verse 31 and 32 31 32nd verse when the pharisees accused jesus of casting out demons by bells above the biggest of the devils yesu pisasin thalaivanagi bells above moolamai pisasile thurathukirar endru pariseergal kutram chaatina bodu he says yesu solugira therefore i say to you every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven uh, forgiven men but the blasphemy against the spirit 
will not be forgiven man. Anyone who speaks a word against the son of man, it will be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven him either in this age or in the age to come. Once again, again, Jesus makes it very clear that the Holy Spirit is gone. Now, I don't want to deal with this particular scriptures where it's talking about blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Against that also, about that also, a lot of people have a lot of confusion. That, uh, that many people have come to blame themselves for blaspheming about, about uh, against the Holy Spirit for every simple thing. But it is not talking about such blasphemy. It is talking about a big thing. Jesus is casting out devils by the Spirit of God. But these Pharisees were so hardened spiritually. So darkened in their understanding. They are calling the work of God, the work of the Spirit of God as the work of darkness, work of the devil. That is the kind of blasphemy that they were involved in. You know, they are people that ought to know better. But they, they speak like that because their heart is full of evil. And to them Jesus said those words. But we will come to it later on when we study other things and we will deal with that. So again and again the scripture speaks of the spirit of God or the Holy Spirit as God. The Holy Spirit is God. Throughout the Old Testament, we read the references like the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God and the Spirit. Showing that he is no less than God. He is God. And he, he, he is God, the third person of the Trinity. Not only does the New Testament show, not only Acts and Epistles show, not only the Old Testament show, but Christian experience also tells us that this is so, that Holy Spirit is God. Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 22. How that we by Christian experience know that the Holy Spirit is God. We will show it here. Let me read to you from verse 20 onwards. Having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets... Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom the whole building being fitted together grows into a holy temple in the Lord in whom you also are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the spirit. Apostler, Thirkadar, Sigal, Enbirodi, Asthivarathin, Mel, Kattapattu, Ulluma, Erikkir, Erikkir, Alakki, Yesu Christu, Thami, Moolai, Kalla, Erikkir, Avar, Mel, Maligi, Mulluvudhi, Isai, Vaya, Inaikka, Pattu, Kattaru, Kul, Parishutta, Alayi, Maha, Yelumukiradhi, Avar, Mel, Nengilum, now listen to this. Now it's not very difficult to understand. I'll explain it very simply. It's talking about the church. It says that we are built together as a dwelling place of God. In what way are the dwelling are we the dwelling place of God? He says in the spirit. That means when the Holy Spirit comes and resides in us, it has become the dwelling place of God. The Holy Spirit living in us is God. 
நமக்குள்ளே வாசமனிற பரிசு தாவியானவர் தேவன் that is why it is called the dwelling place of god even though it's the holy spirit that is living here ஆகவே தான் உள்ளே வாசமனிற பரிசு தாவியானவரா இருந்தாலும் இது தேவனுடைய வாசஸ்தலம் என்று அழைக்கப்படுகிறது every believer knows the presence and the power of the holy spirit in him ஒவ்வொரு விசுவாசியும் தனக்குள்ளே இருக்கிற பரிசு தாவின் பிரசன்னதியும் வல்லமையும் அறிந்தவரா இருக்கிறார் you can tell that the holy spirit lives in பரிசு தாவியானவர் உங்களுக்குள்ளே வாசமனிறார் என்பதை நீங்கள் சொல்லி விடலாம் by the spirit's rest is in you you have become the dwelling place of god ஆவியானவர் உங்களுக்குள்ளே தங்கி இருப்பது மூலமாய் நீங்கள் தேவனுடைய வாசஸ்தலமாக மாறி இருக்கிறீர்கள் by spirit's presence in you you are the dwelling place of god ஆவியானவர் பிரசன்னத்தின் மூலமாக நீங்கள் தேவனுடைய வாசஸ்தலமாய் இருக்கிறீர்கள் holy spirit is god ஆவியானவர் பரிசு தேவனாய் இருக்கிறார் he is dwelling in you அவர் உங்களுக்குள்ளே வாசம் பண்ணுகிறார் that is why i believe that every believer has a very special awareness and a sense of god in him a real sense of god vedan ovvoru viswasikkum devane kurithu unmayana oru unarvu vilippunaru ulle irukiradhu ennu naan nambugiren let me let me just deal with this for a minute idhu kurithu naan konjam pesu this is so important idhu miga mukkiyamaana oru kaari you know sometimes we think we are teaching some doctrine sila samayathil nam nanaikirum edho upadeshangale nam bodhikirum no 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 doctrine is leading to something revey kada upadesham edho ondru kulle namai kondu pogirathu and we have led to where we wanted to lead to tonight nam indha kiravu enge ungale kondu pogu virumbirumo anga dhan kondu varapadugirum so listen for a while agave konjam gavaninga we are talking about how the holy spirit is god eppadi aaviyanavar devana irukkar endru kurithu nam pesi kondirukkirum and i have showed you evidences why that is so yen av devana irukkar endradhukana aadharangalai ungalukku kaanpitten and the last evidence i showed you is that the christian experience shows that he is god kadaisiyaga enna aadharathai kaanpitten கிறிஸ்து அனுபவமே அவர் தேவனா இருக்கிறார் என்பதை காண்பிக்கிறது என்று கிறிஸ்டியன் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் கிறிஸ்தவ அனுபவம் எவ்ரி ட்ரூ கிறிஸ்டியன் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் காட் பை தி இன்டவெலிங் பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் ஒவ்வொரு உண்மையான கிறிஸ்தவரும் தனக்குள்ளே வாசம் பண்ணுகிற பரிசுத்தாவின் பிரசன்னத்தின் மூலமாய் தேவனை அனுபவிக்கிறார் இஸ் தட் சோ வித் யூ உங்களுக்கு அப்படி இருக்கறதா இஃப் யூ ஆர் சிம்பிளி கமிங் டு சர்ச் அண்ட் கோயிங் அண்ட் ஹியரிங் சம் தி மைண்ட் ஸ்டிமுலேட்டிங் திங் ஏதோ சபைக்கு வந்தோம் மனதின் மனதை தூண்டி விடுகிற சில காரியங்களை கேட்டோம் என்று நீங்க எண்ணினா இஃப் யூ திங்க் யூ ஆர் கமிங் டு சர்ச் அண்ட் ஹியரிங் சம் நைஸ் ஸ்டஃப் அண்ட் கோயிங் ஹோம் அல்லது சபைக்கு வந்தோம் நல்ல பிரசன்ஸ் கேட்டு வீட்டுக்கு போறோம் நினைச்சா I tell you my friend you are missing the whole thing நான் உங்களுக்கு சொல்லட்டும் எல்லாவற்றையும் நீங்க எழக்கிறீர்கள் you see do you have an awareness of god's presence devudey prasannathai kurithu oru unarvu ungalukku unda when you come and sit here do you have an awareness of god's presence neengal irundhu inge ukkarumbodhu devudey prasannathai kurithu unarvu ungalukku unda adha when you go home and live your life and go to work and do your thing do you have an awareness of god's presence neengal veettukku pogumbodhu velaikku pogumbodhu patra kaarigalai seiyumbodhu devudey prasannathai kurithu oru unarvu ungalukku irukkiradha do you have an awareness of his presence and his power avudey prasannathai kurithu vallamai kurithu unarvu irukkiradha Do you know that he is there with you? அவர் உங்களோடு இருக்கிறார் என்று உங்களுக்கு தெரியுமா? Do you enjoy the fellowship of the Holy Spirit? பரிசுத்த ஆவியின் ஐக்கியத்தை நீங்கள் அனுபவிக்கிறீர்கள். You know Paul gives the great benediction to the church. பவுல் சபைக்கு மாபெரும் ஆசீர்வாதத்தை இங்கே கூறுகிறார். In Romans chapter 16. ரோமர் 16 ஆம் அதிகாரம். That is the same benediction we give every Sunday. அதே ஆசீர்வாதத்தை தான் ஒவ்வொரு ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமையும் நாமும் கொடுக்கிறோம். Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with you we say. நம்முடைய கர்த்தராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் கிருபையும் பிதாவாகிய தேவனுடைய அன்பும் பரிசுத்தாவின் ஐக்கியமும் உங்களோடு தங்கி இருப்பதாக how much for how many of you does it really mean what it says எத்தனை பேர் அது உண்மையான அர்த்தத்தை உணர்ந்திருக்கிறீர்கள் does any do, do you have get anything from the expression the grace of our lord jesus christ கர்த்தராகிய இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் கிருபை என்று சொல்கிறதே அதனுடைய அர்த்தம் விளங்குகிறது do you know what it is அது அர்த்தம் என்னன்னு தெரியுமா do you know what the love of the father is பிதாவாகிய தேவனுடைய அன்பு என்றால் என்ன தெரியுமா but in reference to our subject tonight do you know what the fellowship of the holy spirit is ஆனா இன்றைக்குறவ நாம் பேசுகிறமே இதை சம்பந்தப்படுத்தி கேட்கிறேன் பரிசுத்தாவின் ஐக்கியம் என்று சொல்லுகிறமே அதுளுடைய அர்த்தம் என்ன i say this because many people think this benediction is some kind of a blessing that is bestowed and you just get in and get it you know நான் ஏத சொல்றேனா நிறைய பேர் என்ன நினைக்கிறாங்க இந்த ஆசீர்வாதம் என்பது ஏன் எல்லாருக்கும் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறது அத கொடுக்கும்போது தலையை உள்ள விட்டு வாங்கி போ நினைக்கிறாங்க so uh, they come and leave their wives in church ah we vandu manavi sabaiyil vittuvaanga i've seen this happen many times in, in in the old days when i was a little boy chinna payana irundhavo palai naatkilla nariya indha mari paathirukku they'll go around do something and come back eh manavi inge vittittu appi ella ulla suthittu kadaisi then they'll come at the time the church service closes kadaisi aarana mudira nerathula varuvaanga they'll be waiting பாத்துட்டே இருப்பாங்க the priest will get ready with all his thing to get give the benediction ஐயா ஆசீர்வாதத்தை கூற எல்லாம் ரெடியா இருப்பாரு they will come near the 
door very very piously romba bhaya bhaktiyodu and the door kitta varuvan and they'll put their head in thalaiya maathram ulla nolaipanga as the priest is saying may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of the father and the fellowship they are thinking something is happening on them padriyar namde kartha yesu christu me kirubai pirava ye devundi anbum apdin aashiram kurumbodu edho nadakkudu nu yosikkiraanga you know i wish someone had a bb gun and just shot them right on their head so they'll get some sense you know chinna inda velayattu thuppaki chinna inda thuppaki vechi toppunu thalaiyil or potta nalla irukku nu nenikira konjam mulipaadu varum onnu kadaikala idhan kadaikum they don't know what the salvation is chipuna enna theriyala paarunga avanga they don't know what church is all about sabai endal enna undu theriyavilla they don't know what the christian faith is all about christo viswasam endal enna undu theriyavilla they think they are somehow coming and getting a magical blessing from the priest enna nekkranga epdiyo ulla vandu thalai kamcha paadiyarude aasil vandu epdiyo ange adichirum the priest is saying this paadiyar idho solugira the priest is saying now you have been the recipients of god's grace through jesus christ enna solugira avar ippozhudhu devudey kirubai yesu christu moolamaai neengal petru kondavala irukkireergal you received salvation achipai petru kondirukkireergal you know the grace of the lord jesus christ kaagi yesu christu ne kirubai ungalukku theriyum you have been washed by the blood neengal rathathnaale You've been saved and you've been redeemed. You are righteous, but the meat of the decree brought out from darkness into light. And the Lord told you, "Holy, holy, come to our body." You've been set free. You will put away all covetousness. This is the grace of God showed to us as sinners. This is why we are not going to be covered by the devil's curse. This grace has been shown to us because of the love of our Father. Our Father, 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 Son to die for us and save us and made us His own. Namma kai mari kumari thamde Kumar na yani pi namme na namme yar achitu thamak thamak ko sundamana orla aki konda. And He didn't want to leave you as orphans. He has sent the Holy Spirit to you. Adam bere yungle hana thilai vitti vidamal parsu thaham yana thilai yungle thilai piri kira. Because you belong to Him. Yer naal yer hamar kuriyu var. You don't belong to this world. Ni yer hula thu kuriyu var lalle. So from heaven He has sent the Holy Spirit. Alve parlo ko thilai thaham yana thilai yani piri kira. Even though you live on this earth, you You are, a, you are you are someone who belong to him ningale the ulagathula vaalnalum ningal devane kuriyavulla irukkireer belong to your heavenly father parloga thaapanu kuriyavargal and to give you proof of that god has sent the holy spirit adhe aadharamaga than devan parusu thaamiyana avargalukku anupirukkar romans 8:14 says that the holy spirit lives in you and gives testimony to the fact that you are sons of god ningal devude pilligal putrargal enbadhukku ungalukkulle vaalgira aaviyanavar saatchidugirar endru romar 8 parandu solugirar and he cries out of our father avar appa pidavu endru koopida pannugirar and this is proof that you are sons and daughters of god idhuve ningal devude kumara kumarathigal ennadhukku aadharama irukkirathu and you are continually living with the presence of the holy spirit adumattumalla ningal thodandu varshuthavin prasannathile vaalndu kondirukkirar guiding you to all the truth sagala sathyathugal avargalai nadathugirar giving you strength kalan kodukira is giving you comfort ungalukku aarudhalai kodukira giving you help udavi seigira he is your intercessor avar ungalai parindu pesugira he is your counselor avar ungalai aalochagira irukkira he stands by you ungal poddathile nirkira he does all these things for you ungalukkaga indha ella kaariyile avar seigira you must be exp- experiencing the fellowship of the holy spirit every day parusuthavin aikyathai anudhanam ningal anubavikka vendum since you are already experiencing that yerkanave ningal idella anubavikkiradhanaale so benediction is given aagavedan aashirvadam kodukapadu this is not for anybody who sticks his head idhu vandu ulla thalaiya nolaikira ullukala varadhu kedaiyadhu thalaiya nolaikira on cricket bat la than kudukunu idhu avangalukku illa this is for saved idhu rakshikapatta ullukku uriyadhu this is for people who have really been saved idhu meiyave rakshikapatta makkalukku uriyadhu people who know the grace of god devane kiruvai arindavarukku uriyadhu people who know the love of god devane anmai arindavarukku people who have the holy spirit living in parusuthavi ulle vaasam pannumadi vaithirukkiravargal we say to them avarukku than solugirom now may the grace of our lord jesus christ namudeya kartha yesu christuvin kiruvai and the love of the father pidavin anbum and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Parasu Thavi na ikiyamu. Abide with you for now and forever. Indu mendu sada kalamu mukulode nilai thiru pada ake. In other words, instead of saying bye, we are saying may this grace and love and the fellowship continue to be there as you live your life. Amen. Why do you want to say that? Why do you want to say that? 
தேவனுடைய அன்பும் கிருபையும் ஐக்கியமும் நீங்கள் இந்த வாழ்க்கை வாழும்போது உங்களோடு கூட இருப்பதாக என்று ஆசீர்வாதம் அனுப்புகிறோம் டு யூ நோ வாட் தி ஃபெல்லோஷிப் ஆஃப் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் பர்சு தாவின் ஐக்கியம் என்றால் என்ன தெரியுமா டு யூ நோ வாட் திஸ் வாட் இட் இஸ் டு ஹேவ் a sense of god's presence and power தேவனுடைய பிரசனம் வல்லமை குறித்த உணர்வு என்றால் என்ன தெரியுமா தட்ஸ் வாட் a true christian is all about my friend கிறிஸ்தவர் என்றால் அப்படிப்பட்டவர் தான் true christian is not someone who's given the name உண்மையான கிறிஸ்தவனா ஏதோ பேர் அளவுல கிறிஸ்தவர் இல்ல no no true christian is one who has the holy spirit inside பர்சு தாவியானவர் உள்ளே கொண்டிருக்கிறவர் தான் உண்மையான கிறிஸ்தவர் true christian is not someone who's got a name God a Christian name. Christo pere udeyavar unmiyana Christopher alla. True Christian is one who has the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit residing in. Varsuthavin prasanathi vallamai ulle kondu varadhan unmiyana Christo. Living by the power of the Holy Spirit. Varsuthavin vallamai kondu varu. Having the anointing. Varsuthavin abhishekathai. Knowing the truth. Satyathai arindavara. Walking in the light. Velichathile nadakkira. Walking in the truth. Satyathai nadakkira varu. That's the Christian. Avarvan Christo var. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Varsuthavin ai So when you receive the benediction, all with the Ashirvada Neel, Perumbodi. It's not a very ordinary thing. That's one sadhan or karya man. It is so meaningful. Avlo artha madangi. It is so meaningful for me to give it. Adha umulo ko sollu vadu sollu vadu na artha doru dhan sollegre. Thank God I said it today because a lot of people they may think this is just a ritual. This just does it. You know. Inna sonu drumma nala da poji le na reyve do sadangani vastu ba. Yallan je rangani vrin je rare. No 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 I don't do that. Kadiya naan apdi seivadillai. But doing it because uh, it really means something. Meyyave artham irukiradhu aagave dhaan seigirom. You see in people who really are believers or true believers. Unmayana viswasigala irukiravargal. They have a true awareness of the presence of the this person the holy spirit. Parsu thaviyana kurida unmayana oru unarvai vilippunarvai udaiyala irupar. they know that it's god's presence avalu theriyum idu devunudaiya prasanam endru they know that they have god's power devunudaiya vallam irukirad endru arivargal they know that god lives in them devan namakku enakkulle vaalgirar endru arindirpargal they know that they have the power of god or devunudaiya vallamai petrukiren endru arivargal they can tell by their experience that god is there அனுபவத்தை கொண்டே அவர் சொல்வார்கள் உள்ளே தேவன் இருக்கிறார் how many we can say god is in me எத்தனை பேர் சொல்ல முடியும் தேவன் எனக்குள்ளே இருக்க god is in me தேவன் எனக்குள்ளே how do you say it எப்படி அதை சொல்றீங்க you say it because of the presence and the power that you know in you உங்களுக்குள்ளே தேவனுடைய பிரசனம் வல்லமை இருக்கிறது என்று நீங்கள் அறிந்து இருக்கிறதுனால தான் அப்படி சொல்லுகிறீங்க amen amen not only that அது மட்டும் இல்ல the various expressions of god's power that works through you தேவனுடைய வல்லமை பல்வேறு விதங்களிலே உங்கள் மூலமாய் கிரியை செய்து வெளிப்படுகிறது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தி கிஃப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் ஆரத்துக்கு பரிசுத்தாவின் வரங்கள் ஆல் ஆஃப் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் இப்படிப்பட்ட காரியம் வர்க்கிங் த்ரூ யூ உங்கள் மூலமாய் கிரியை செய்கிறது அண்ட் தி மார்வெலஸ் அண்ட் வண்டர்ஃபுல் மிரக்கலஸ் கைடன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் பிறகு பரிசுத்தாவினுடைய அற்புதமான அதிசயமான வழிநடத்துதல்களும் இருக்கிறது when all of these things happen இவைகள் எல்லாம் சம்பவிக்கும்போது when miracles happen அற்புதங்கள் நிகழும்போது when there is marvelous guidance அற்புதமான வழிகாட்டுதல் இருக்கும்போது when there is wonderful wisdom அற்புதமான ஞானம் கிடைக்கும் wonderful knowledge அற்புதமான அறிவு உண்டாகும்போது wonderful uh, counseling அற்புதமான ஆலோசனை கிடைக்கும் wonderful uh, comfort அற்புதமான ஆறுதல் கிடைக்கும் போது that again the christian that that again for the christian is evidence that god is in him that god lives in him அது ஒரு கிறிஸ்தவருக்கு தேவன் எனக்குள்ள இருக்கிறார் என்பதை காண்பிக்கிறது it's evidence to him that the holy spirit is god and that is why he is helping him in that way ஆவியானவர் தேவனா இருக்கிறார் ஆகவே தான் இப்படியெல்லாம் உதவி செய்கிறார் என்பதற்கு அந்த கிறிஸ்தவருக்கு அது ஆதாரமா இருக்கிறது are you experiencing that நீங்க அதை அனுபவிக்கிறீர்களா the comfort the help பரிசுத்தாவின் ஆறுதலையும் உதவியையும் the counsel ஆலோசனை his strength அவருடைய பலனை his miracles avudi arpudangalai is marvelous things taking place ipdi but adhisiyamana karyangal nigalugiradha giving you the knowledge that the holy spirit is really god he is bringing out all of these things parshu thaviyana meyyave devan avadhan evela nadapikkiran endra arivai ungalku kudukiradha amen amen does it give you that ungalku andha arivai kudukiradha when good things happen by god through god through the holy spirit through you parshu thaviyana moolamai ungalile nalla karyangal sambhavikkumbodhu you know that god is in you ungalukku theriyum devan enakkulla irukkar holy spirit is no less than god parsu thaviyanavar devane vida kuraivanavar alla you know that god is in you devan ungalukkulla irukkar nu ungalukku theriyum god is guiding you devan ungale nadathukar god is leading devan ungale valikaattukar god is 
in your heart Amen. Amen. Shall we shall we all stand together? We will continue next week. To next week we'll talk about how that he is a person. Tell you it's a very important thing. And I will talk about biblical proofs about why he's why we believe that he is a person. After I say, after I give you the proofs that he is a person, then we'll talk about what it means to us today. How does this fact of that person affect us? That's the greatest thing. Let us give thanks to God. Let us lift up our hearts and worship Him. Oh, thank God. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. He's given to us to give us the awareness of God. The Holy Spirit's strength is the strength of God. The power of the Holy Spirit is the power of God. The wisdom of the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God. The guidance of the Holy Spirit is the guidance of God. It is the guidance of none less than God. God. God's power. God's guidance. God's comfort. God's strength. God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, we worship you. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we worship you. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you, praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this marvelous truth. The Holy Spirit who lives and resides in us is God. The strength and the power that we receive from him is God's strength and God's power. His wisdom is God's wisdom. His guidance is God's guidance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for through the Holy Spirit, God himself is ministering to us. That we have the greatest help that anybody can have. And we have the greatest helper. That we can never fail. We can never fail because of the Holy Spirit. Oh, we thank you. For the power and the anointing and the presence. Of the Holy Spirit. Continue to teach us. Continue to open our hearts and minds. May our hearts grow to love God and the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with each and every one of us for now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.